we messed up. That's right, I admit it. In our recent review of the Vivo Barefoot Magna Lite WRSG, a mouthful, I know, we may have given it a little too much credit, and now we're not sure we can recommend it quite as highly as before. So here's the thing. When we test gear here at Terra Drift, in this case, boots, we're not just throwing them on, walking down the sidewalk, and calling it a day. We do multi-day trail testing on a variety of terrains to make sure we form an accurate picture of how the gear performs. For instance, with the Magna Light boots, we went on both day hikes and multi-day backpacking trips to see how they held up. And if you watched the original review, a link in the description, you know that we gave them a pretty solid review. But after posting the review, we started seeing comments about the shoe's water resistance, or rather, lack thereof. And if you'll remember, that's what the WR in the name stands for, water resistant. One user even said that they had soaking wet feet after just 15 minutes of walking through wet grass. Now, a few of these comments are normal under a gear review. Someone may have a defective product, or they're just being a troll. But when enough of those comments pile up, it usually means we missed something, and it's time to take a second look. Sure enough, when we did some additional testing, the water repellency of the boot kind of fell flat. So why was the repellency performance different than in our original test? Well, there are two reasons, really. First, we were testing them in Utah, where the majority of trails are super duper dry. When we did hike through streams, the boots were still fairly new, meaning there was not a ton of dirt or wear to make them more susceptible to water. And dirt on shoes is a big reason that can cause plenty of breathable, water-resistant materials to fall flat, including rain jackets. We'll post a link to how and why below. But suffice it to say that when material on boots or whatever gear is clean, it's much more effective at repelling water. But when it gets dirty, water basically clings to the dust, which holds it against the fabric until it seeps through. And essentially, we failed to water test them again when they were good and dirty. Because, well, Utah in summer. But all this begs the question, if this boot is intended for outdoor use, where it will most certainly get dirty, is calling them water resistant a bit of a stretch? Eh, probably. Though, if you clean them often and give them a good waterproofing treatment, we'll link to a video on how to do that below, you could expect them to be tolerably water resistant for a while at least. That said, have I changed my tune about these boots overall? Well, no. They're still going to be my go-to boots for most trips, especially in drier conditions. But if you're specifically looking for a boot that's water resistant or waterproof, you should check out our review of the Zero Scrambler Mid WP or the Lens Boulder Summit Waterproof. We're big fans of the nylon version. 